Hallelujah. This is the Yom Yerushalayim, the Jerusalem day here, celebrating the reunification of the city after the Six Day War. I can imagine what happened when the IDF broke into the Lion's Gate, which is on the east side of the old city. And they reported, we are in after so many years of exile. And right after that, when the rabbi of the IDF, Shlomo Goren, got to the Kotel for the first time, the Western world for the first time in 2000 years, and he blew the shofar, declaring Am Israel Chai. The people of Israel are alive. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the capital of Israel since King David, the holy city, the place where um, Yeshua is going to rule and reign over the nations. The Messiah will sit on the Temple Mount. And here we are with a tremendous view behind me of the Holy Basin all the way to the city of David and the Mount of Olives. And in the far distance, even, even, even the Temple Mount. At right near the site of the building of our watchman apartment. Hallelujah. An apartment that will be a watchman of prayer over the holy city of Jerusalem. So, Chag Sameach, happy feast to every one of you. And I'm going to read a couple of scriptures. Blow the shofar today in honor of Jerusalem. You know, in Psalms 137, 5 and 6, it says, If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget its skill and let my tongue cleave to my palate if I do not put Jerusalem as the chief issue of my joy. And that's King David speaking. So today we put Jerusalem on top as the chief issue of our joy, the city of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the capital of Israel. And when I go to Zechariah 2, which is the chapter of the United Nations for Israel, we can see that it's uh, verse 5 starts this. It says, I lifted up my eyes. Let's lift up our eyes today together with the scriptures. And behold, I saw a man with a measuring line in his hand. And I asked, where are you going? He answered me, to measure Jerusalem, to measure Jerusalem, to see how wide and how long it is. Then behold, the angel speaking with me left and another angel went out to meet him. You can see the angelic host that are absolutely involved in the restoration of Israel, the obedient heavenly host. And this is what the second angel says, saying to him, Run, speak to this young man, saying, Yerushalayim, Jerusalem, will be inhabited as a village without walls. Look behind me, and you can see that there is plenty of houses outside of the walls of Jerusalem. And it will happen because of the great number of men and livestock in it. For I, it is the declaration of Yahweh, will be a wall of fire around it and I will be the glory inside of it. And we declare today that Yahweh, you are the wall of fire around Yerushalayim and you are the glory inside of it. To this city, nations will come even after the wrath of God is poured out on the nations because of the way they've treated Israel. There's going to be sheep nations that are going to pass through that wrath and their kings are going to come according to Isaiah 60 and they're going to bring their treasures and their praises to Israel and to the king of kings in Jerusalem. Hallelujah. And then when we move ahead and we go right here, it says that there is going to be a judgment on the nations that oppose this restoration it said in verse 13 for behold i will shake my hand against them and they will be plundered to their servants then you will know the diavets vaot has sent me to you in other words he's going to shake his hand against the nations that come against jerusalem and then he says in that day many nations those are the sheep nations the ones the united nations for israel is standing in the gap for so that you can become your own sheep nation as you represent uh, your nation in the united nations for israel as a member or even as a delegate hallelujah we've got today over 
30 nations represented in the United Nations for Israel and we are growing from 14 delegates and more that are representing their own chief nations that are included in this verse because this is a prophetic word for those nations that will honor Israel and that will understand the importance of blessing Israel standing with the covenant of God for Israel. It says in that day many nations will join themselves to Yahweh and they will be my people. Those are the sheep nations that United Nations for Israel is representing. And then he says, I will dwell among you. Then you will know that Yahweh's vote has sent me to you. He will dwell among Israel. That's among you, among Israel, when the nations will become his people. And then it says, Yahweh will inherit Judah as his portion in the Holy Land and will once again choose Jerusalem. We know that in 1967, when the whole city was reun re reunificated, reunited, and then he put the seal of approval that he has again chosen Jerusalem. Of course, it happened before then, but in 1967, it was like the whole city became Echad, became one, Yerushalayim Echad. We say when we march in the Jerusalem march, uh, when we come to the Sukkot tour of Israel, which we invite you to come to, every one of you, it's just such a happening. And then he goes ahead to say something because we are not far away from where the UN building sits and when the original British commissioner said, and our watchman apartment is right around the corner. And the UN building, you know what the UN is constantly bashing against Israel? Well, in the context of those sheep nations joining in, which the United Nations for Israel represents, and in the context of Yahweh possessing Judah as this portion on the Holy Land, and against choosing Jerusalem, Jerusalem, he also says this to the UN. And this to all the global community that opposes this restoration. Shut up. That's right. That's what it says. Zechariah 2, verse 17 in the Hebrew. And it says, Be silent before Yahweh, all flesh, for he has aroused himself from his holy dwelling. He's standing up to see that the restoration of Israel and Jerusalem will happen. And so he's saying to everyone else that has other opinions, shut up. And you know, when kings rise up and they're standing up, they will not sit again. And when they, they only stand up for a short time, because if not, heads begin to roll and judgment begins to happen. So as I blow this shofar today, I blow it in honor of the King of Kings that is standing up for the whole restoration of Israel and for the blessing of the city of Jerusalem and for the honor of Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Achat, one city reunited under God, indivisible, right here representing both Israel and the United States of America, because I'm also a delegate of the United Nations for Israel for the United States of America. And I'm declaring that it doesn't matter what horrible policies may be in the government of America as a delegate, of my own sheep nation, the United States of America, and are standing in the gap for Mother Israel being an Israeli as well, I declare that Jerusalem Achat, and I celebrate with the Holy City and with the God of Israel that has reunited the Holy City in Yeshua's mighty name. We say, Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kevod Malachuto Leolam Vaid, blessed be his glorious kingdom 
forever and ever. Amen. And the center of his kingdom is Yerushalayim Achad. Jerusalem, one city, Jerusalem, the city of God, the capital of Israel. Watchman Apartment in Jerusalem, Archbishop Dominica Bierman and Rabbi Baruch Bierman representing the United Nations for Israel. Oh, see